Howdy and welcome back to another Bevy video. Today we have just a short video by request of someone on my Discord. We're going to look at simple texture atlas animations using Bevy. We're also going to cover my current preferred way to work with assets in Bevy. So without further ado, let's get started. I've created a super simple Bevy app for this demo. All I have in my cargo toml is the Bevy dependency and a dependency on Bevy Asset Loader with the 2D features. Bevy Asset Loader is a magical plugin, and I highly recommend checking it out for your games. It simplifies a lot of the work of loading and managing assets, and it makes it easy for you to have loading screens for your games. The README is very well made, and almost anything you need is right here on the main page with a code example. Now, to use this with our texture atlases, we just need to create an asset collection strut and mark one of its members with texture atlas in our parameters. Today I doodled up a simple walk cycle for this demo. Now we need to get a game state which will have our loading state and a main game state. In the app builder, we want to add the loading state and tell it to continue to our main state once all of our assets are finished loading. At this point, they'll be added as resources into our app. Now we add the collection we created to the loading state and that's all the work we need to do to get our assets loaded. I've also set the image plugin to nearest filtering because my sprite is pixel art. Next up, for actually using the texture atlas, I'm going to make two systems. One for spawning the sprite and one for running the animation. Spawning will happen on entering the main state and animation will happen every update when we are in the main state. I'm also going to create a custom component to track the animation timer and the number of frames in our animation. Now, when spawning the sprite, I want to first create a camera because I don't have one otherwise, and then I'll create the texture atlas sprite component. Here I just want to set the custom size so the sprite will be scaled when we run the game. Often I'll change the camera settings instead of this so all my sprites are scaled and I don't need to change this for each one. Now, we spawn a sprite sheet bundle with the handle to the texture atlas in our sprite. Obviously, this bundle has a transform so we can move the sprite, and you can check out the docs for the other options you have for customizing your sprites. Then, I add the animation component we created with a timer and a frame count. There's a lot of engineering you can do here to create a very sophisticated animation system if you want. I'm just showing the absolute basics, but you can turn this into any form of state machine you need for your graphics, and it's often fun to go way overboard here. Next up, we need to actually animate the sprite in our update system. Here, I just get every sprite and animation component, take the timer, and when it finishes, update the index. This is really all you need to do to get a nice animation working in Bevy. A big part of the joy of Bevy is how quickly we can throw together demos like this, but we also have all of the flexibility to turn this into whatever custom solution we need for our games. That's pretty much all I have for this video. I just wanted to get this out because of the request and I wanted to break my writer's block. As always, thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons and thank you for watching.